this my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep wave on my side, CJ act, now I gotta roll with ice, ride or die, 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 ride or die. Cody's but it's my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep wave on my side, CJ act, now I gotta ride or die. So what's up guys and um, welcome back to another video. To start this one off, I want to take a bit of a break from archaeology. So I'm going to dive up, do a couple little bits here and there. But I'm going to start by doing the Tarowin Diary, which I probably mispronounced. But that is the diary for this general area. And it actually unlocks something really good. And there's also 97 cooking. But yeah, we'll talk more about that once we've got it done. I've never in my life had to reclaim an Iban staff, but apparently you kill these guys and they give you a broken one and then we can repair it and then I gotta come back and kill him again and that's for the diary. All right, one dead Iban dude coming up and hopefully that is the achievement. And there it is. I ban you from hunting me. That is a terrible pun, Jagex. You can do way better than that. All right, that should be the easy diary done, but the easy diary is actually pretty shit. I'll put the rewards up on screen. Uh, only good thing I can see there is a 5% chance of noting the tortoise shells, but like 5%, that's nothing. Like what, what the hell? So we're doing the medium currently and there's two left. So we currently need to exit through a gate, which needs the prisoner glossary quest, which I've not yet done. But this one here, you need to wear a death talis uh, tiara and I don't have 90 Slayer. I'm going to attempt to boost and hopefully get the death talisman from the dark beasts. But let's see how we get on. All right, I've got to make a wilder pie to get a like six level boost to kill dark beasts and hope I get the talisman. I made a wild pie at the same time as well and a wilder pie because there's a step. Uh, you need a proper oven. Okay, so sweet. Let's go grab an oven. But there is a step, right? in the Lumbridge diary. But yeah, there is a step in the Varrock diary where you have to give a guy a wild pie and I don't want to be catching any more chompies for a long time. So hopefully I don't burn the wild pie and that's one diary step done, yep. And then the wilder pie, which I'm going to use for my boost. Yes, didn't burn either, nice. Ah, thank God, only got that in like like five or six kills. It is only a one in ten though, so thank God, don't need to make another pie. God, I fucking hate puzzle quests. This has to be one of the fucking weirdest quests I've ever done. Are they like turning terror birds into people or something? I don't know, man, really strange. All right, and there we go, quest complete. That's a lot of XP. Oh my God, 50k construction. This quest also unlocks the ability to have two spirit trees, I believe, if you use spirit trees to get around, and also unlocks the spirit tree in Prith. But yeah, that quest was like 90% cutscenes. It was uh, pretty weird. All right, with climbing this, the most useless shortcut in the game, by the way, uh, that should be the medium diary complete. Come on, climb up. No? Okay, maybe I've got to climb down. Or if not, I've just got to climb from here all the way to the end. Not sure which one, but we'll figure it out. Wait, have you got to go all the way through these caves again? Bro, this is, this is the most useless shortcut ever. you got to climb all the way through these caves. Why make me do this again? <laughs> um, I'm guessing it wasn't in that direction, for fuck's sake. All right, there we go. What a waste of three minutes. But that is the diary complete. So the best thing about that diary is another mushroom patch, which has got to be huge, because just using one mushroom patch just takes so damn long. Ah, and there it is. We can finally plant in this bad boy. Two mushroom patches. Going to be so, so useful for getting ourselves, you know, all the mushrooms we need for holy overloads. Ah, I've been running on one patch up to this point. I was thinking of doing the hard diary, but, bro, so much of the diary has to be done at specific times because of the voice of Seren. Like, loads of it you have to do on a certain voice. So it's going to be time-gated pretty fucking hard so i'm probably gonna just do as much of it as i can at the moment and then yeah do the rest in future all right so there's one where you have to make a perfect juju and we was trying to do this mini game and it was absolute aids i couldn't figure it out but apparently on anachronia 
If I just catch this, yes, I get a marble vine. Okay, the marble vines needed to make the juju for the hard diary. Uh, it, it was a pain in the ass trying to figure this out. Oh my God. So I'm telling you guys, so you don't make the same mistake as we did. Just come straight here, buy these fucking traps and you're good to go. All right, please tell me I've done this correctly. So we got our unfinished potion. We put the root in it. That makes the farming potion. And then we put the harmonic dust in it. Please give me achievement. Yes, it's done. And this potion is so damn useful as well for our herb bronze. I'm, I'm going to actually make like a bunch of these and make getting the herb uh, part of my uh, normal herb run and take advantage of these on herb runs now. But I just realized this one's actually shit. This one only affects when you're farming these pillars. 25% chance of doubling. So we just won't make the second part. And then, yeah, it's a good potion, the one down from it. So this is what my inventory looks like for herb runs now. Basically the top. I don't think the uh, farming urns are actually necessary but what I do is I do my two mushroom patches first so I pop my aura at the mushroom patches and then after I've done my mushroom patches I'm going to sip a juju farming potion this is a 33% chance to double when picking a herb it only if oh okay that's the first time I've got one of these animals actually that's pretty cool uh, but yeah, 33%. That's huge on herbs. I'm probably going to end up with so many. All right, and there it is. 95 archaeology. Haven't actually done any archaeology. That's totally not two days of penguins and, and a daily and stuff. But yeah, oh, 95. I think that unlocks ancient invention. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, we'll do that a bit later, though, because I'm quite enjoying having a break from archaeology at the moment. And we do a dance in this room. Which, this room's actually pretty interesting. Any imps you've ever caught are uh, in this room permanently. So I'm assuming some of these empty cages are imps I've never caught. But we had to catch 10, and then they populate this room. So that is the diary finished. Let's go get our reward and talk about what it does. And that is the hard diary complete. I wish I did it sooner, man, because one of the rewards from this is that you you can just afk the crystals the cleansing crystals like you don't have to click between every crystal it just automatically keeps churning them out another good thing about this diary is a five percent increased damage to elves and some other little bits as well but yeah really really glad to have that done uh, 99 prayer is going to be a breeze if i decide to go the money route i remembered i never actually finished this medium diary either so if we click open Hear a loud crack. There we go. So that's a uh, medium desert done as well, I believe. Yes, there we go. Let's get the reward. All right, that's the medium desert done. Nothing amazing about this for me at the moment. 5% uh, discount in Mage Training Arena and 20 charges on the Scepter if I start doing a lot of clues, but I'd have to get the Scepter first. But yeah, the Hard and Elite are really good though, which we'll do in the future. All right, and if we uh, make this Teleport tab, that is the Varrock Hard done as well, which is actually going to be really useful because I've still not finished all my mining stuff. So what the Varrock one does is it gives you a 2% chance of mining Runor, which is really damn nice. I'll put the rest on screen and then there's double progress for stuff. Basically like anything tier 70 and below, uh, below, below now has that effect, which is uh, really, really good. So we're doing a party for divination and yeah, it's just easier in groups to get charge packs. And this dude turns up with his white party hat. Um... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See three item in. Oh bro, third age, white party out, just flexing, man. But yeah, this is uh this is definitely worth doing in a group because you're just way less likely to get killed. I just said in my French chat who wants to get some uh cursed energies and just don't hold on to them as soon as you can. Just make them into the charge packs straight away. Make the energy, make the charge packs, and then if a PK comes, you know, you just consume the charge pack. Boom, you're not gonna lose anything. Bro. Are you taking the piss? You need 99 cooking to cook sailfish. The only raw fish I have is sailfish and have eight and a half thousand. Uh, <laughs> I was going to use them to get 99 cooking. Well, whose fucking idea was this? Well, I used the banner boost to boost to 99 and cook these last half hour. So I guess I'm going to be cooking half hour every day. Oh, bro, this is going to be so long-winded now. Oh, man. All right, let me show you my methods. My preset is exactly this. We got a cooking potion. We just sip that with a one dose, and then we cook. Simple as that. I got, like, 420 
uh, doses, so I'm sure we'll be fine. But there is 98. Just one level to go. Uh, this is absolutely huge for the account. We've got a challenge. If we claim that, there we go, 94. But what that means is we can easily banner boost and just do like a half hour of making overloads. So that's massive. It's huge, 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 huge. All right, so we finally burnt through like a bunch of these. We didn't actually burn any as well. Surprising they are 99 to do, but there it is, 99 cooking has finally been hit oh my god that fucking was so quick i was getting like 400 and something k xp an hour it was really good uh yeah i wonder how many of these i've got left let's have a look i think i have i've cooked a bunch so i still have like 3k i need to cook and i currently have basically 6k so i'm i don't need to use this potion anymore thank god i'll probably get this to like 6k and then uh we're all good oh hello we just got the wand hell yeah we're just doing some bounties with my friends so i wasn't expecting to get any drops we're literally just killing four of each so this is his bounty so we kill four and then we're doing my bounty next which is Zamorak kill four and so on wasn't really expecting to get a drop but yeah that's huge tier 85 wand man we're halfway there daily's op all right it's time to gamble there's three different things in here there's xp cap whatever ancient tools which i don't know much about and ancient gizmo blueprints so we want untradeable so these are either 200 each or you can get a random one for 150 so i could technically get two but the one i want the most is the ancient gizmo so hopefully out of the two i get by doing random it won't be just these two it'll be this and something else so let's try a lock all right craft come on baby ancient tools okay uh wait you need 93 for that okay um oh it's a bit spooky now we want untradeable uh we're either gonna get xp or ancient gizmo this is a bit spooky um Come on, ancient ancient gizmo. Fuck! <laughs> I got both that one. Shit! Uh, <laughs> I got the other two, and I didn't get the ancient gizmo. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, off to go get another hundred and fifty of these. If you're a hardcore, you are fucked playing this game right now. I would definitely be dead. I've definitely died. There's no way about it. Great game. You've got Jagex. Nice and fucking stable. Cheers for killing me. Absolute huge farming level coming in. 85. I can now grow my torstals for overloads. And there we go. There is the Falador medium done. Just had to grow my own bloody willow branches. Hella annoying, but at least that's done. Alrighty. So another level should be coming in here. There we go. We'll just uh, deposit all. And boom. There we go, 96, getting a little bit closer. And we're just over halfway to our next blueprint. So back to that same spot. Oh, bro, I'm so happy. Finally, finally got a leg piece. That took me bloody ages. Uh, let's let's check the uh, the kill count. Took me 45 on the dot. So pre pretty much on drop rate, just slightly over. Pretty happy with that. I guess we, uh, we're coming in with the back to back, boys. Got ourselves a nice pheromone, hell yeah. How much is that individually? 1.8, nice. And just got ourselves 90 summoning, finally. Uh, got so many blue charms, I thought might as well just smash through them and see what happens. Not sure if I'm gonna go much higher, but I'm just gonna keep doing it for now. Look at that XP an hour, 2.2 mil. Well, it is finally time to make up for previous mistakes, untradeable, yes. I'm assuming that that has to give me that one, right? Please say that's a fact. I know it is, but yeah, there we go, study? Yes, acquire blueprint. And there we go. We have unlocked ancient invention, the gizmos. Getting perks are going to be so easy now. All right, it seems simple enough. This is all like really newbie stuff. And yeah, I get 20 components per. So oh, that one gave me some classic and some vintage. Okay, maybe there's a chance that's some other stuff as well. But yeah, we're just going to go through, destroy these newbie ones. And I'm assuming I got a few high level ones to destroy as well. I'm uh, going to destroy them and just see what we end up with. Okay, so this is a normal weapon gizmo. As you see, there are five slots. So let's say I wanted to make sign out of five powerful components. 
Don't think you get anything good from that, but we'll just use an example. I can use five. Like, say I want a trophy taker. Uh, chance of getting one to five is based on, like, how many I'm using. But if we click on the ancient, we now have nine slots. So if I've had this probably really bad example, but I can put nine in there. Okay, so you see this has gone up to six and the previous said five. So basically it's just way easier to get better perks because rather than using five, you can use nine and it's just going to get you them used to be like best in slot perks before this come out that you would get with this. A way easier to get with this and the potential for really good perks is way higher now so it's just going to be so much easier like if you want to get budget perks getting them with ancient an ancient one rather than a normal one you're just going to get way better perks for way less effort so I'm probably going to wait till I start upgrading my gear before actually using these uh, when I get my next like round of gear upgrades and I start perking it Definitely going to use this and hopefully we'll be at a higher level because we're currently 89 and we can get even better perks. And yeah, we, we're literally going to wrap this one up here in the next video. You know, we're going to keep on trucking. Uh, might take a break from archaeology. <laughs> I've probably been saying that for ages. I'm just so sick of it. I know I'm so close, but it's so damn slow. And yeah, we'll see how we feel. We might do a little bit because because it's not far to go. I guess I could break it down into smaller chunks. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit us with a like and catch you later. Oh, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. CJ Ike, now I gotta roll with ice. Cold, these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side.